Television weather presenting sits at the end of a long line of data handling through weather observations from around the world. This data is then processed by a supercomputer, which becomes usable forecast data that can be sent out and used for forecasters to predict if more rain is in the way, which uh, unfortunately for us here in Scotland is normally the case. Now, meteorological data is collected from all around the world in many different ways, from the sea to the upper atmosphere. Now, thousands of weather boys are drifting around in our seas and oceans, collecting wave heights, wind speed, air pressure and water temperature. And there's also many ships that are taking similar observations and they feed back into the system as well. Now, there's also thousands of weather stations, both automatic and manned. They collect current conditions around the world. And here in the UK, we have 200 automatic weather stations. Now, every day, there's hundreds of weather balloons around the world which are sent up to measure a cross-section of the atmosphere above us, which can actually reach a height of 15 miles before they burst the parachute back down to the ground. Now, as they rise, they are collecting data such as temperature, humidity and air pressure. We've even got some commercial aircraft that carry weather equipment and help us monitor what's happening at higher levels in the troposphere. There's also weather satellites in space, of course, which collect as visible and infrared data, which means that we can see weather fronts and storms moving around the globe. Quite often, we've got those storms coming in from the Atlantic. So you can see we've got a vast amount of data that's being collected and fed into a supercomputer at the Met Office, which is based in Exeter. Now, years ago, it would have taken a long, long time to process this amount of data. And by that time, the forecast would have been out of date. But our latest supercomputer is able to make light work of the 215 billion weather observations it receives daily. It can do 14,000 trillion calculations in one second. And it has 24 petabytes of storage for saving data, which is enough to store over 100 years worth of HD movies. After the complex work has been done by a computer, this then feeds out data that can be used to create charts and forecasts by the Met Office. And these forecasts are then used by their customers, ranging from airports, military, gritting teams, and of course me, the TV forecast. So next time it rains and rains and rains, don't blame me, blame the supercomputer.